I'm Amita Batra. I'm a professor at the Center for South Asian Studies, School of International Studies, Jawaharlal Nehru University. I'm a professor of economics and I teach a course on regional economic integration in South and Southeast Asia. My specialization, my area of research and work has been trade, trade policy, and with a special focus on economic integration and value chain issues in South and Southeast Asia. I think um, integrating with the global value chains is a very, very significant aspect of the process of development and trade today for India as well as all developing countries. Particularly for India, given the challenge that we have in terms of large numbers of young youth and the levels of unemployment that we have at this point of time in India. I think the one big vehicle that India could use and should have been using by this time is the uh, mega regional trade agreements. I wish India would think about or do a rethink on embarking on the uh, regional comprehensive economic partnership agreement because I think that as far as integration with the preferential trading agreements or mega regional trade agreements is concerned that provides us with a huge vehicle uh, facilitating India's involvement with the most dynamic hub of global value chains which is in the Southeast East Asian countries. So I think the big challenge that India has now is on thinking or giving a rethink to how to be able to integrate with the regional value chains and the regional value chains particularly those that are centered around the uh, Southeast Asian and East Asian value chain hub. That should be the big um, agenda that I think India should have both in terms of its development, manufacturing enhancement as well as for the employment uh, objectives. I think three, I, not very specific policies, but three broad areas of reforms that India desperately needs to do now, undertake at this point of time. One would be in terms of labor markets. I think labor market flexibilities need to be seriously thought about and introduced in the country. Uh, two, as far as land uh, market and land reforms are concerned, particularly laws pertaining to land acquisition. Uh, this would be very, very congenial as far as inviting foreign direct investment from abroad is concerned, setting up firms, factories, and basically private investment initiation is concerned. And a third area would be, I think, in terms of trade policy, where India needs to really think about liberalizing the domestic trade policy rather than going in for increasing import duties, particularly in critical sectors like automobiles and uh, textiles because these are sectors which are really integrated the most as far as global value chains are concerned. These are our primary export sectors and we would do um, a whole lot of benefit to the country, to the economy, if we could really initiate the process in this direction.